As Dr. John LaFouk mentioned, there is new guidance this morning from the CDC about how the coronavirus can spread. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, joins us. David, this is the third change in less than a month. What does the new guidance say? Right. Right, Anthony. So the CDC is now confirming, yet again, that it's airborne. It can travel through the air in tiny particles more than six feet. Now stop. Just their way of talking about it. YouTube, do you understand? Do you do you hear how these indiv now it sound like they watched my video first and now they're doing rebuttals and since can't nobody go back to my video because it's deleted uh, and people who haven't been aware of my channel, then for the most part, uh, they're not going to catch drift of the reverse psychology. But let me repeat, it doesn't even matter if you guys did do that. Listen to how you guys are explaining the CDC right now and you guys are the ones releasing this information. So why aren't they, why aren't, what's this, C, why ain't CBS getting took down? Fox got a similar story. Why ain't they getting took down from talking about CDC and miscellaneous information being played out? Now let's hear this one more time. As Dr. John LaFouk mentioned, there is new guidance this morning from the CDC about how the coronavirus can spread. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, joins us. David, this is the third change in less than a month. What does the new guidance say? Right. Right, Anthony. So the CDC is now confirming, yet again, that it's airborne. It can travel through the air in tiny particles more than six feet. Less than a month ago, they posted it on their website, but they removed it, and infectious disease experts around the country said, wait a minute, why did you remove it? Are you caving to pressure? That is, in fact, the science. See, we gave them pressure. We made them depend on science. We made them give us scientific method. And since it wasn't no science, since it wasn't no scientific proof to it being droplets or airborne, they had to discard it. Right now, since they formulated a whole bunch of distractions, deleted uh, my video and put me on strike for a week. So for the most part, this is their form of muzzling real truth. Now they can play in the shoes as if they're us now. Talking like this. And we've been talking like this. Now, here's the thing, right? They still fucking up. Look, y'all need to just go ahead and throw this COVID-19, go throw it all the way away. Throw the whole thing away. Throw the whole concept away. Because if you get ready to talk about it's airborne, then what's the fuck the point of wearing a goddamn mask? Please explain that. Because if something airborne, animals should be catching it, humans should be catching it, and it don't matter where they at. It don't matter if they practice in social distancing. It don't matter if they six feet apart from someone. It don't matter if your monkey ass got on a mask. I repeat, if your ass walk into a public restroom room and you got, I don't care if you got on a gas mask, if you still smell shit when you walk through, then ain't nothing stopping that motherfucking virus from attracting your ass if it's airborne. You need to understand that because if, sm if fumes go through mass, then you need to know a motherfucking airborne virus is going to go straight through that motherfucking shit. And, you, and, and it's even, it's like doing things backwards, even wearing a mask. Because once that air get trapped and those particles get trapped in your mask and you're breathing in that smell, and in this particular case, it's an invisible virus, so it doesn't even have a smell either fake virus, but like I said, right, uh, it's going to put you into a situation where it plays out worse if this virus was real, you know what I'm saying, so it doesn't even matter if you believe in this virus, it's, st they still giving you so much bullshit information that for the most part, we have no other, we have no other choice but to look at the CDC in the way that we are looking at it, and then for the most part, why are you guys deleting content creator videos as far as freedom of speech based upon the information that you guys are presenting, so are you guys, once again, I ask this question, are you guys trying to make us go in outrage? Because we're not stupid. You see what I'm saying? Now, for the most part, if it's airborne, what is the whole purpose of uh, practicing social distancing and wearing a mask? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense if it's airborne. You could be in your house, secluded from everybody, windows shut, everything, and wear a mask and still catch it if it's airborne. Because it's airborne. So, I'm, I'm not understanding... Um, this extracurricular fear that y'all trying to put everybody in. It doesn't even make sense. You, you don't even necessarily have to do it like this. You know what I'm saying? But I see that you guys are going to plan B, plan C, plan D. And, you know, you guys are buying out corporations and buying websites and buying YouTube in order to restrict anybody from utilizing their own common sense. Only consist of the information you guys gave us. And if we're looking at the information you guys gave us, like it don't make sense. Then why is content creators on YouTube being restricted from their point of view of looking at the information that CDC is releasing? So it doesn't even make sense. How come Trump could be so old and heal so fast from this virus? But they're making us they're making us care for it so much. How how did Trump 
get these medicines and things of that nature and these cures so fast. Yet, what the hell was what the hell was these doctors treating everybody with who died? So you could come up with excuses all you want like these individuals didn't have the right insurance or they didn't have the right medicine or right health plans or things of that nature. So, you know, coronavirus sparked their underlying health issues and things. That, well, for the most part, here's the thing. You shouldn't have been treating them with anything. Because here's the thing, right? Whatever you, whatever y'all so quote, quote unquote get ready to say that y'all treating treating Trump with, y'all not treating Trump with anything. You know what I'm saying? That's why Trump is able to be up here and play the role of everything we dislike. So since we don't like coronavirus or we see more people getting well from it than actually being sick from it, then for the most part, Trump is still going to make y'all believe in a virus, aka act like he got it. But then they're trying to wash their hands and rock y'all to sleep slowly but shortly in a reverse psychology kind of way. AKA still make you not care about it. Because if you can see Trump will stain it, then for the most part, this is slowly but shortly make you feel like it's not that serious. And still reverse double entendre, vote for Trump. And still triple entendre, be open enough for new distractions so this COVID-19 can slowly but surely disappear because they didn't drop the ball so long ago. They didn't drop the ball well in March. They dropped the ball in March. Nobody forgetting what they're doing. I don't care how many videos y'all think y'all getting ready to delete. Off the internet. I don't care how many people y'all think y'all get ready to muzzle. Off the internet. Y'all drop the ball. You need to know that. And YouTube, you need to stop sacrificing your platform for political agendas. Because for the most part, once the political agenda is gone, people going to find another website that's going to cater more to their freedom of, freedom of speech. So you need to understand that also. So I repeat, how in the hell that this now is airborne again? Would y'all watch my video? And was like, oh, they're considering it. They're considering it not being real in this case. So let's talk about it being airborne again. And you know, this is all mixing and mingling in your minds right now because they don't want too many people participating into uh, actually coming out for these voting uh, uh, things in your city. <sighs> Where the presidents show up and do a rally. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, this is what y'all need to understand. Stop giving power to a rally. You don't need to show up to no rally for a motherfucker to sit up there and preach to y'all about a virus that they have no business even talking about. You know what I'm saying? Why is Donald Trump or Biden and why is these news channels even making this a political agenda? Why every time they talk about COVID-19, they talk about we should have a vaccine before before voting time, before election season? Or why every time they st they start to talk about it, they're talking about it as in the form of yeah, Trump said we should have it at this time. Or Biden said we should have it at this time. Who the fuck told them that Americans, Americans is even looking at Donald Trump or Joe Biden for any information about the goddamn uh, COVID-19 coronavirus? And then on top of that, the people that y'all gave to us who have the credentials and things of that nature that we're supposed to respect, they dropped the ball. That's why they're not That's why y'all not putting them and giving them camera time right now. Dr. Falsy, Falky, and all these individuals and things of that nature. So for the most part, you know, these individuals are dropping the ball so much based upon people like me and other individuals dropping videos of truth that y'all deleting, that y'all going to plan F and plan G, a.k.a. now y'all got Mike Pence getting ready to do a rally just to see what would what happen when you give him camera time. Is he going to be convincible? Look, y'all need, need to just understand, throw the whole coronavirus away. Throw the whole concept away. Come up with another reverse psychology where we could be distracted and stop caring about that. Y'all actually doing more damage. Y'all actually doing more harm than good. Making this a part of your political agenda. You see what I'm saying? You need to understand that. Now, if you're going to sneak and watch people's videos and things of that nature, hopefully you sneak and watch this one. Y'all need to throw that away. It don't work under any circumstance. Even for the people who believe it and on the people who don't believe it. And the people who don't believe it it's going to be more convincible to the people who do believe it, but catching all the information from people we're supposed to believe that y'all presenting on these channels, giving them extra amount of views, but all the dis dislikes and the comments show otherwise. And y'all probably man starting to manipulate that now. You see what I'm saying? Where the people who actually believe in a virus still think it's a hoax because they think it's being overhyped, and the people who don't believe in a virus appear to be way more convincible from a, from a scientific point of view, to the people who actually believe in it. So you guys don't even got the people on the fence like that. Just throw it away before you before y'all suffer election season. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. And I love y'all. Archangel, you're yeah.